I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to sketch reciprocal of a linear function. To start with let's take an example. Let us say our function f of x is equals to half of x minus 1. So that represents a line, a linear function with y intercept of minus 1 and slope of half, right? We can also write this linear function as if I take 2 as a common denominator then we have x minus 1 times 2 will give us 2. So f of x equals to x minus 2 over 2. So that is a function we are talking about. When we say reciprocal then we mean 1 over f of x, right? So 1 over f of x becomes reciprocal of this function. So 1 over f of x should be 2 over. So we'll flip this, right? The numerator becomes denominator and the denominator becomes numerator. So that is how the function is going to look like. Let me call this function as r of x, as a reciprocal of our function f of x. Now, to sketch a line, we need a couple of points. The best points to consider to sketch a line are x and y intercepts, right? So let's write down the points which we need. So let us have some x values here and f of x. We are considering the first equation. To sketch this line, what we need is x and y intercepts, right? We could have done, we'll do with slope intercept, but we'll see some points here. So if x is equal to 0, then f of x is minus 1, that is the y intercept. So x equals to 0, f of x is minus 1. So we we'll just substitute 0 here, so 0 times this, we get that, right? Now since we have a fraction, it is good to take points as two multiples of two so that we don't really land up in fractions here. Now if I write x as two, so we know two minus two is zero, so we get zero, right? So at x equals to two, we get zero. That becomes the x intercept. We are also looking for a point where f of x is one. Now f of x will be one, that means two times one, and x minus 2 equals to 1, so, so 2, 2, and then when we bring it over, so that is 4. Anyway, let's go by steps of 2. If I write 4 here, 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1. Well, let me add one more, that is 6, 6 minus 2 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So these are my points on the right side of 0. On the left side, let's put minus 2. So if I write minus 2 here, it will be minus 4 divided by 2, which is minus 2. And minus 4 will give me minus 6 divided by 2 as minus 3. Right. So, given a line, we can have 5 or 6 points to draw a line accurately. I'll make a rough sketch here to show you how to really draw the line without even plotting these points. So here is my sketch. Now if you look at the function half x minus 1, that's the line. That means y intercept is minus 1, so that is minus 1. That's the point. Slope is 1 over 2. Rise of 1, run of 2. So we get the other point. Join these two points, we get our line. Do you see that? So we'll just join these two points and get our line. So that is the line we are talking about. So my sketches are rough, but they are fairly accurate. So when we say sketch, these are acceptable. Okay, so, and what we notice here is that the line goes rise over run for one unit of run there are two units on x so that is the value so if this is 4 let me write down if this is 2 then this is 4 for us and at 4 we'll get plus 1 
here we have minus 1 correct well it matches with our values also correct so at 8 the value is so 8 minus 2 will be 6 6 divided by 2 is 3 so we'll have 3 so 1 2 so somewhere here we'll have a value kind of 3 right? anyway we can get a graph like this now important thing is to consider so we got the line now we have to draw the reciprocal of the function now reciprocal means reverse of this denominator becomes denominator becomes numerator that is 2 and numerator becomes denominator as you observe x minus 2 that means if I place x equals 2 I'll have something divided by 0 that is not possible so that is always a restriction so whenever denominator is 0 that value is restricted and we should write that restriction right there in the very beginning so our reciprocal function is defined for the domain of real numbers but not at x equals to 2 so at x equals to 2 we are dividing some number by 0 which is going to give us infinitely large number that means we have a vertical asymptote at the x intercept of the line so let's first draw the vertical asymptote that is normally the first step once you have the function the reciprocal of the function look for the x intercepts right that means where y is 0 so this is your x intercept right so at this place draw a vertical asymptote so that's what we did that's our first step now what is the reciprocal of 1 reciprocal of 1 1 over 1 is 1 so this point will be common to both the graphs right so let me highlight this point similarly reciprocal of minus 1 is also going to be minus 1 so these are invariant points so wherever you have 1 and minus 1 on the graph at those places we know these points are common to both function and its reciprocal so we call them invariant points they are common points okay now other important things which we need to note is if the value of the function is higher then reciprocal is going to be lower as the value increases the value of the reciprocal decreases right so if we have a value 3 here then reciprocal of 3 is one third one third will be kind of very close to x-axis right so the value we have 2 here that be half so we get these points which are very very close to x-axis imagine if x value for a high x value the y value is going to be high since the end behavior is as x increases y also increases so if a very high value is taken then its reciprocal is going to be very very low approaching zero now it's important to note that reciprocal of positive will always be positive and therefore will have approaching to zero but on the positive side okay so it will be approaching zero from above the line so this part we can draw kind of like this so that arrow indicates that as y value approaches its reciprocal approaches zero as y value increases to infinity the reciprocal approaches zero and that is called the horizontal asymptote now for the values which are less than one let us say we have a value here for two less than one so here we have a value half this is one so reciprocal of half is going to be two right similarly if this is one third reciprocal will be three so what we find is that if the value of the function is less than one in that case reciprocal is higher than one if the value is very close to zero then the reciprocal is going to approach infinity and that is how we get this part of the graph so it is approaching infinity as you can see this part of the graph is very similar to 1 over x where x values are positive 
what we see here is that the vertical asymptote really divides your plane into two parts and one of the part where the function is positive we have 1 over x in the positive quadrant okay now let's look into the left half of vertical asymptote so here we have x intercept at 2 minus 1 is invariant if I have a value which is minus half minus half reciprocal is going to be minus 2 minus 1 by 3 is minus 3 minus 1 over 10 will be kind of 10 so these are the values which are increasing with negative sign right so if the value here is 2 half 3 1 third 10 close to 0 so we can join these points like this and the graph approaches 0 but from the negative side so what we see here is that the graph is similar to our reciprocal function which is translated right that's absolutely clear from here translated two units to right two units to the right right so that is how we can always sketch our graph so what we learn from here is a couple of more things that we have invariant points and second if the f of x value is negative then r of x is also negative right if it is positive then r of x is also positive that is what you notice from here another important thing which you can conclude from your graph is when the function is increasing so in this interval from x equals 2 onwards the function is increasing so f of x is increasing correct so from 2 onwards what we have here in this is that increasing right increasing function so during this interval the reciprocal is decreasing right so we have decreasing 1 over f of x or reciprocal of this function in this interval we see so all over all over the place we see the function is increasing right so all over the place if you see this it is a low negative value approaching 0 to a higher negative value so it is decreasing all over the domain right so the function when we say increasing we always see it from left to right so if you see this line going from left to right it is always increasing and therefore reciprocal of this function will be always decreasing in its domain well in domain x equals 2 is not there right since we have a vertical asymptote so what we conclude from here is that if the function is increasing then its reciprocal will be decreasing well if we take an example which is which you can try let me write another function for you we have f of x equals to negative let me just change this value to negative and we can write negative 2x plus 1 so try this out negative means the function will be decreasing in that case we'll have always the reciprocal which will be increasing correct so that is kind of important to observe which you should do when you plot reciprocal of this function so what we learned here is to draw a reciprocal of a function it is good to find x intercept at x intercept you will have a vertical asymptote on the reciprocal function then you should find the points where the value of the function is 1 or minus 1 right these two points these two points will be invariant and will be common to your function and the reciprocal function and then you should check if the function is positive what I'm trying to say here is let me add that also if f of x is greater than 0 then r of x is also greater than 0 right so we see that the function is positive in the interval from 2 to infinity reciprocal is also positive in that interval do you see that so so that is what we wrote here if function is negative right if f of x is less than 0 then r of x is less than 0 right so so many things to remember 
So this is about the sign of the reciprocal function. This is the increasing and decreasing interval. Okay. So these are important things which we should always notice. Well, these are common for all the functions. So in any function when we are drawing reciprocal, if at the x-intercepts we'll have vertical asymptotes, when the functions are increasing, the reciprocals will be decreasing. When the functions are positive, reciprocal will be positive. For negative values of the function, reciprocal will also have negative value. Remember, reciprocal functions will have horizontal and vertical asymptotes. Horizontal asymptotes will be always at y equals to zero, the x-axis. I'm talking about reciprocal function. So all reciprocal functions will have a horizontal asymptote since if we approach infinity. So if we have a large value, that means if x is approaching infinity, then f of x is also approaching infinity, but reciprocal function is approaching zero. That leads to horizontal asymptote y equals to zero, right? Similarly, if x is approaching negative infinity, then f of x is approaching negative infinity in this case. So here also, our reciprocal function r of x approaches zero, though from the negative side. So the horizontal asymptote is y equals to zero. So this y equals to zero will be a horizontal asymptote. And then we have a vertical asymptote here, which is x equals to two, the value of x. So these are kind of very important points which you should remember when you sketch a reciprocal function when given linear given function is a linear function right so as an added exercise you can try sketching f of x equals to minus 2x plus 1 and it's the reciprocal observe all what we have written here and then draw your conclusions thank you and all the best